I mean, really, the pressure's been on us here for the last couple of weeks. Uh, we know we've got to uh, start getting some wins. Um, you know we've been playing pretty decent. We just haven't getting the, getting the bounces. Off. Going on, Gary and Leslie will go. Leslie off his suspension on the Lynch fight. That's the last time he threw him. As they both grab each other or try to at center ice. Feeling each other out, measuring it. DeGary throws one and Leslie comes over the top. And down goes Leslie. <laughs> down goes DeGary. Rolling over each other. Trying to get a couple in on the ice. And Mike catches Hergot. Possible break. Hergot now stops. Puts the brakes on. Fires it in. And a save by Brie. Neutral zone. Turned it over to McLaughlin. McLaughlin now. Gets a man moving in. It's Michello in the back. And the score. What an incredible goal from Dan Michello right there. Behind the Columbus net. Now centered it. A shot and a save by Virginie. Held on. And Mike, that was a chance there again for Huntsville. Working the play from behind it's the net. A little too close for comfort. How about and this? right off of the draw, here we go. It's Buccella throwing the fist. And he takes a man down before I can even tell who it is. I think it was McCarty. But it's I'm Brian sure. McCarthy. It is McCarty. And uh, McCarty's back up and Buccella ties him up again. Practical Rex moving. A minute 20 left in the power play. Look out, here's an opportunity. VJ comes out, makes the save. Rebound. Sheen can't get a stick on it. Here's Patterson looking for the backhander. Redirected, it stays out. Hits the post, and VJ picks it out of midair. You know that what? one looks like it was in, but they're going to say it rang off of the pipes and stayed out. No, it hit one pipe and went to the other, Mike. It, hit, it, it yeah. went pipe to pipe. Big shot from Dwyer. Stopped in front. Big rebound, and Kyle Sheen's there to play it away. Now look out as Steve Briere takes a comical fall there, and he's still able to make the save, and another one, and another one. How about that play there from Steve Rieger? Yeah, touched up. Noski gives it away. There's a shot from Kofka, a turnaround shot. And uh, he had Noski all over him. That uh, didn't let him get a clean shot. Now here's an opportunity for Buccella. Buccella throws it to Manus Lott. And another shot stopped by Vijay. Another shot. And again, Vijay keeps it out. What a series of stops by Vijay. Buccella takes a shot. Big rebound is offered up by Vijay, but he falls on it. Now we got some pushing and shoving, and uh, Buccella didn't like that at all. Buccella is throwing the gloves down. Daryl Moore. It's Daryl Moore that he's going with. This ought to be interesting. The fans don't like Daryl Moore one little bit. And we got another fight going on, but let's follow the Buccello one right now. Buccello with a trip, and look at that. The fans that's, love that. That's a slew foot. I'm telling you what, that's, that's, that could cost you money. That's, uh, that, that is not cost you uh, money. That may have been popular with the fans, but I don't think it's uh, very nope. popular with the coach right now. Even John Gibson is kind of going, what was that? And now, and uh, now we got another draw. And we're going to end up having uh, some players jump yeah, in. Here, here we go again. Ball. Here we go. All heck is breaking loose now. we got two or three more fights going on. The linesmen are going to have to do their job. What it is is uh, Roman Marikowski did not want to go. He is not a fighter. And whoever jumped him. Same thing happening with John Lounsbury right now. Someone's trying to go with Lounsbury. Lounsbury's not a fighter either. McLaughlin is, and McLaughlin well, doesn't like what he's hearing. Barlow's going to take him off and go. Here, Here we go. Here goes McLaughlin. Barlow and McLaughlin. Man, they're trading chess pieces. This is like a chess board. I think, and I believe this well, let's, let's follow. He's not getting hit with those. We're seeing one of the cotton mouths is being taken out of the game, and Kofov is skating, all, skating off with him. I think Kofov may be getting an ejection as well. Right now, McLaughlin and Barlow are still going at it. McLaughlin Barlow is the Barlow continues punching McLaughlin as McLaughlin's down. And, See, uh, what happened here is the linesmen were too busy getting the other of, ones out. Just a series of uh, a series of questionable plays from players on both teams. And I think we're going to see several folks uh, well, get their ticket punched to the bus here tonight. Good stop by McCreary. Back behind the ice. They're looking for it. Got it. in front. It's in. Is it in? No, they're going to say it's out. They're going to say it's out. That one sure looked like it was in, but they're going to say no goal. It looks like Breer was able to fall on it. Pass. It's uh, going to hit Masita. Masita's trying to beat Wavell out. Trying to get the shot off. Breer comes out to make Look the save. Call. They're going to make a call. Look out now as Hergot's got a wide open net to shoot at. And it goes off of the post. The Havoc are on the what power play. Turn around pass. Finds Weevil. He gives it to Valdez. Valdez has the puck played away from him. Good play by Rutz right there. Valdez trying to leave it for Buccella. Buccella keeps going back to Wabel. Wabel snaps a shot. It hits the back of the net. They score! A power play goal for the Huntsville Havoc. And 2-0 with one minute left in the second period. Wabel snapped the shot. May have got touched in front. Either way, it's behind Vijay. How right. would they let Bushy go like that? Trouble, but here's Schultz. Big slap shot from Schultz up in the air. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? I don't know. He almost, he almost. You know what? Just Smack that one into his own net. What a sh what a spectacular job of showmanship. Seven Green's got it in the zone. Now to Prentice. Prentice fakes the shot. Moves in. Safe. Brie into Huntsville zone. Drops it. Now here's Masita looking for the backhand. The shot. Save Brie. He went down again. 
and made an unbelievable stop one more time. You can't get it by him. Mesquita keeps it in. Down low it goes now. Over to Mesquita. Right on one shot. Time save. Another one by Brie off a of Rutz. He's a short guy, but man, he's got a wingspan. Tell you what, Albatross. <laughs> and now a big hit in the corner. But but covering is Tim Green. Moves in. Green coming in. Shoot. Save. Brie. Loose puck. Backhand. Score! Score! Juan Mesita! And that cuts the deficit to one. And will the curse of the wave come back and haunt Huntsville? I don't know about that. The wave died a, while, a long while ago. I think that's just a matter of uh, the Cottonmouths keeping uh, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, and uh, there it goes. Residual deflected and stopped, and Huntsville has won this game tonight. And the Cottonmouths look over at Huntsville's bench as they walk away. And you know what? Mike, this has been, like you said, one of the great hockey games, a two-to-one game, and 7,000 people got treated to an SPHL matchup. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That was one of the best games I've seen the Havoc play all year. This has just been thoroughly entertaining start to finish. Incredible finish. I was on the edge of my seat. I've been standing all game. I haven't sat down at all.